For some people, and especially Catholics, this is going to be a bit shocking. Check this out. A report by the Vatican's own newspaper reveals Pope Francis recently hung an image behind his desk depicting a naked Jesus Christ caressing his dead apostle, Judas Iscariot. Francis loved this painting so much that he placed it on the wall behind his desk, along with another representing Judas. First and foremost, the Catholic Jesus in all these paintings and these statues that you see all over the world is not what Jesus actually looks like. In fact, the pretty Jesus everyone sees is in fact the illegitimate son of Pope Alexander IV named Caesar Borgia, who was puffed up by Pope Alexander to be the image of Christ to glorify the man, his son, above the creator of man, the son of God. And yes, you heard me right, illegitimate son of a pope. When it comes to the atrocities done by the popes, having an illegitimate child is rather tame to say the least. I actually share some graphic details about the popes in my September 2004 Truth Provided newsletter. But as we all know, the pope has been doing all he can lately to make Jesus look bad. I have over a dozen videos of the pope declaring everything from Satan strong and Jesus weak to Jesus literally not having a sound mind. And so it is to be expected that this pope would uplift Judas the man that betrayed Christ and actually made his death possible, as well as a man that committed self-murder. Sin is the main fruit of the Vatican. This is why he is called the man of sin. And if you notice in the painting, Judas has clothing on, but the fake Jesus is naked in the picture that is right now hanging in the office of the Pope. But then this man is a Jesuit, and we all know about what their oath demands of them. For those that don't know, check this out when you get time. And so, the question has to be, why does this Pope constantly belittle Christ, as well as Christianity itself, over and over and over again, even worse than most Popes before him? Well, have you seen my videos wherein I share documented facts regarding actual satanic masses being held inside Vatican walls, as well as why all the popes, all the priests, the bishops, the cardinals, as well as the nuns are all wearing the clothing of witches and card-carrying satanists? And if you haven't seen those videos, check out this page with all the videos and the articles and the pics when you get some time. The man of sin has been revealed for some time now, as most students of prophecy are very aware, but this Pope just happens to be a bit more zealous about declaring Satan to be his God of choice. Thank you for watching. God bless.